All right, so I finished cutting out my pattern piece. Um, now I'm going to put that aside for a minute. I am going to get my fabric that I chose, what color I want. Um, you might have a, um, a pattern to it. We'll talk about that in a minute, but mine's just a solid green. Uh, if you notice, mine's kind of chopped up. Um, we try to use all of the fabric um, that we can so that we don't waste anything and we get the most bang for our buck. So since mine's kind of messy, I'm going to have to fold this in half. Okay, so don't worry that it might be chopped up or look like a little messy. It is going to get folded in half and we're going to make it fit. Um, so what you want to do is this is, it's hard to kind of tell, um, but this is the side I want to see. So it might have a pattern on it, it, have, it might have a bright color on it. Um, that's the side you want to see. This is called the right side of the fabric. And then this side is the duller side. It doesn't look that nice. Um, you could pretty much on almost all fabrics tell which side is the right side and the wrong side. If you have a problem with that, let me know. Uh, but this is called the wrong side of the fabric and that's the side you don't want to actually uh, see when you're done. So right side of the fabric is this good side. You're going to fold it so that your right sides are face to face touching. So I would want them think your right side of the fabric needs to be touching each other and line it up the best you can. I know, again, there might be like um, uh, spots that are cut or whatever. We'll make that work later. But if you, if you look, think about it, technically you're looking at the wrong side on both sides when you fold it so that the right sides are face-to-face -face touching. So once you've figured that out, you're going to lay it down on your table, okay? Um, and you shouldn't be able to see the good side anymore. You should only be able to see the wrong side, the bad side. So you line that up, and then you're going to take your pattern piece, and you're going to find a good spot to lay it down on it. So um, it's kind of sometimes if, like, you have a big chop in it, you want to make sure that you're getting um, this to fit with two layers of fabric. Okay, so that's why it says cut two on the pattern piece because when you line it up like this, you're going to end up cutting two layers of this material. So if you can see here, this is like a little bit shorter. I need to make sure that I'm catching not only on the top side I can see, but on the other side. So you can adjust, you can slide it down, you can move it up to wherever you need so that it's catching on both sides. Because the worst part is when um, you end up cutting and then you realize, oh, it wasn't catching on the other side and now I don't have two pieces that are the exact same um, size as my pattern piece and look exactly the same. So I'm going to, now that I have it lined up, I'm going to um, pin it, but I'm going to show you a video on how to pin it. So that is all you have to do for step two.